Hello, my name is Lloyd Chapman, and I'm president and founder of the American Small Business League. We've got a press release out today titled, Senate Uses Ambiguous Language to Renew Controversial Pentagon Test Program. Um, let me read you this language. Um, the program they're renewing, by the way, is the Comprehensive Subcontracting Test Program. Um, a test program. They've been testing it for a quarter of a century. We think that's too long. And what they're testing is whether removing all transparency and penalties from Pentagon Prime contractors is going to increase opportunities for small businesses. So prior to the implementation of the Comprehensive Subcontracting Plan Test Program, Pentagon Prime contractors were required to release publicly available small business subcontracting plans and quarterly and annual small business subcontracting reports, which the public could use to see if a contractor was complying with federal law establishing small business contracting goals. Prior to the implementation of the, of the conference of subcontracting plan test program, prime contractors could also face liquidated damages for failing to comply with federal law that established small business subcontracting plans. When this test program was implemented uh, 25 years ago, it eliminated all transparency, so you and anybody in America, the media, are unable to see if these contractors are complying with the law and eliminate any penalties for noncompliance. So under the guise of increasing subcontracting opportunities for small business, the Comprehensive Subcontracting Plan Test Program eliminated all transparency and all penalties. Uh, we estimate that small businesses have been cheated out of over a trillion dollars during the life of this 25-year test program. Now Congress wants to renew it for another three years. Here's the language in the House version, Section 811 of the FY 2015 Defense Author Authorization Bill, which renews the Comprehensive Subcontracting Plan Test Program. This is in Section, uh, this is in section 811 of the Chairman's Mark of the Bill. However, after nearly 24 years since the original authorization of the program, the test program has yet to provide evidence that it meets the original stated goal of the program. So the House of Representatives has admitted there's no evidence this program has ever worked. Let's renew it into its 28th year of testing. Um, Ten years ago, the Government Accountability Office investigated the Comprehensive Subcontracting Plan Test Program and released report GAO 04381 that said this, all the test, although the test program was started more than 12 years ago, DOD has yet to establish metrics to evaluate the program's results and effectiveness. Well, the reason the DOD didn't uh, develop metrics to evaluate the program's results and effectiveness because they don't want you to anybody to know that this program has devastated opportunities for small business, the complete antithesis of the, the congressional intent in passing this program. And... Um, you can tell the House of Representatives is embarrassed uh, by this because they have buried Section 811 that renews the program in the bill. Take a look at the 2015 Defense, uh, the National Defense Authorization Bill, and you won't find a Section 811. They've hidden it. Now here's the um, Senate language. The Senate version of the 2015 National Defense Authorization Bill states the test program shall terminate on September. 30, 2015, if, under, if the Undersecretary of Acquisition, Technology, and Logistics certifies to the Congressional Defense Committee no later than December uh, 31st, two, uh, 2014, that the Department of Defense will not be able to transition all participants in the test program to individual small business subcontracting plans that meet all relevant requirements uh, contained in the Federal Acquisition Regulation before December 31st, 2014, or participants transition to the individual small business subcontracting plans do not enhance subcontracting opportunities for small businesses. What does that mean? Can't tell. I've got to read it again, right? Um, we think this is designed to be uh, ambiguous, and at best, it gives the Pentagon the ability to decide whether this test program should continue or not. So think about the, the, the logic of testing anything for 25 years when there's no evidence that it works. Uh, you know, if, if anyone out there thinks that eliminating transparency and any penalty for noncompliance is going to increase opportunities for small businesses, call me. I will show you some, sell you some shares in the Golden Gate Bridge here in California. It's, it's, you know, ridiculous. It's absurd. So the House is trying to hide um, their language 
renewing this bill, and the Senate is using ambiguous language and, at best, uh, leaving it up to the Pentagon. This program needs to be terminated. It needs to end immediately. It's, it's fraudulent. It's detrimental to the American people, to the middle class, to small businesses, to our economy, to job cr creation, and it needs to end immediately. So we're hoping that someone out there, uh, some honest journalist, will do a story about this. By the way, um, you know, we're trying to get stories out there. No journalist in a quarter of a century has ever written about this program in the mainstream media. There's a couple of minor stories. I think some, some college wrote about it. But um, I think this is astonishing that not one journalist in the mainstream media has written about this in 25 years. I say, by the way, that it will be very difficult for journalists today to write about this. The Pentagon does not want to get out that this fraudulent program has cheated the middle class out of a trillion dollars or more. And uh, if you want to see how big the story is, try to write about it. Call up the um, website for the um, Conference of Subcontracting Plan Test Program and talk to people there. Call up uh, the Pentagon press office. Call up the House uh, press office or the Senate press office and the, um, the House Armed Service Committee and the Senate Armed Service Committee and tell me you want to do a story about this, Bill, and notice how nobody will talk to you and notice how what happens when you try to write about this. So I'm Lloyd Chapman with American Small Business League. Thank you very much.